You don't need to do mods to your truck to grow your Instagram page. My goal is to help take every bit of of doubt that I had in myself and somehow have made it somewhere and pass it back down to you guys so you can be successful. You watching this video right now. What's going on today, Bread Gang? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, I'm gonna get serious with you guys for just a minute. Everybody has the same goal. We all wanna grow on Instagram. We all wanna be successful. If you want to seriously learn how to grow on Instagram, keep watching. All seriousness aside, forget what you think you know and listen to me for five minutes. You may be thinking, oh, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. I grew 15,000 followers on Instagram last year, and I'm going to share the secret with you guys. Stay tuned. I know what you're probably thinking. What is what is this kid, what does this guy know about growing on Instagram? Well listen, I'm gonna be the one to tell you straight up. It's easier than you think it is. You just gotta know the right steps. Now, I took a couple hours the other day and really reflected on the past year. Last year I started the beginning of the year somewhere around 2,000, 2,500 followers on Instagram. Right, currently to date, to this moment when I'm filming this video, I have 17,000 followers on Instagram. Almost 17.1. Now this isn't, this video, I'm not making it to brag, to, to, you know, be big headed. This is, this is not why I'm making this video. I get a lot of messages from a lot of people, a lot of you guys, and me, myself, want to know how to grow on Instagram. So I am here to reveal the secret, my secrets, how I did it. A lot of you guys, I get messages, man, you blew up on Instagram, all this other stuff. That's what we're getting into today. I'm not gonna make this a super long video. I'm gonna get right into it. I spent a couple hours the other night and wrote down from literally start to finish, from the second somebody lays eyes on your Instagram page, on your name, what it takes for them to go through the process to click that follow button. If you don't care what I have to say, click off the video. Thanks for the view. But if you guys genuinely trust in me and wanna learn how to grow on Instagram, I'm about to get into it. Stay tuned. 17,000. That's where we're at right now. Almost 17.1. There's your proof. You don't have to have 100,000 followers to know what you're doing. I'm averaging anywhere between two and 300 followers a week. That's what we're doing right now. And I wanna share that with you guys. I wanna make this video because I want you guys to wake up and be confident that you can, you can reach your goals. I see people that grow 10 followers in a, in a month, 100 followers in six months. It's not hard. I want you guys to be successful. I'm going to make this video, whether it gets 10 views or not, because I want you guys to be successful. My goal is to help take every bit of, of doubt that I had in myself and somehow have made it somewhere and pass it back down to you guys so you can be successful. You watching this video right now. Somebody messaged me the other day and said, after watching my video, the 26 minute long video, they got out of their bed, out of their bed watching my video and went and took truck pictures. That's the shit that I wake up and do it for. Not for the big truck, not for the truck meets. That's what I do it for, to motivate people to actually chase their dreams. So let's get into it. Look, so you guys know I got my legal pad. I sat down and that's what I did. I jotted everything down on the legal pad. This video isn't gonna be big. There's no crazy edits in this video. This video is content, all about the content. I'm dropping bombs today. So you, you, you need to pay attention. I'll be right back. I had some, some elaborate way that I was going to do this, but really, it doesn't matter. The proof is in the content, on the legal pad. I got to get to the page, sorry. Jeez, I got a lot of crap in here. 2020 Guide to Instagram Growth by That Wide Bow Tie by Alex. I don't know why I hit my chest, that was kind of weird. Okay, so I, I came up with five points. If you guys if you guys want a more detailed, a more, just a bigger, a better explanation of all of these different points, make sure to message me. I'll try and put something together and be able to actually put it out for you guys if this makes any sense. If, if you guys benefit from this, if you guys actually get help from this, which I really hope you do, I'm just trying to pass out the content, pass out the, you know, 
the secret. There is no secret, but this is what I did to become successful. I started January 1st of last year and said I was gonna be successful. Did I know if it was really gonna happen or not? No. I know now that I can be successful because I made it happen. And this is what, we're just, we're gonna jump into, I'm talking too much. I started January 1st of last year and said I was gonna be successful. I woke up every day for a year with that mindset. And this is where we've gotten. Now I'm not the most popular person on Instagram. I don't have the most Instagram followers, but to me personally, I woke up and I did the best that I could do every single day and that's why I'm starting to gain success. You guys are not waking up every single day and wanting it bad enough. And this is gonna help you get there. But if you follow this, I believe in this, if you follow this, you will be successful. In, in, on Instagram, not in your entire life, but you can take the same thing and apply it to the rest of your life. So let's get started. Number one, number one on the list. Some of these might not apply to you. If you, if you actually have some of these things done already, then skip them and go on to something else. Work on the things that you really need to work on. Okay, number one, your name on Instagram. Your name on Instagram needs to be catchy, clean, and simple, but also make it different. Something easy to remember. Now, if your name is that wide bow tie underscore 6097, nobody's gonna remember that. It needs to be clean, short, simple. Low key dot SLT. It rhymes, it's short, it's simple, it's not something that everybody has. That is a great name. That wide bow tie, Whistling Diesel, D Bertrand. You can put your name into it, but it needs to be clean and simple, something that people can remember, but also not something that everybody else has. Find something, one that you're confident in. Something that you're confident in goes a long way. Name, catchy, clean, simple, different. All at the same time, if that makes sense. Number two, your profile picture. I'm starting real basic, because some of you seem like you don't know, you don't even know the basics. Your profile picture needs to be what you want it to be. Literally, I wrote down exactly what your page is. What is your page about? It's about your truck, I'm assuming. Or it's about your, your fitness, or it's your, your, your fitness page, or it's your, your photography page. It needs to be exactly what your page is about. Make it up close, personal. What is my Instagram page right now? Mine is me right now because that's what my page is about. Now I post a lot about the truck, but I promote my YouTube, I promote myself, I promote my brand. If it's your truck, if you want your truck to gain followers, put your truck front, center, good picture. It needs to be a good picture. It needs to be the whole truck. We don't wanna see just part of it. You're giving people a preview. If they're scrolling through and they're trying to look and they your Instagram catches their eye, it needs to catch their attention. They need to be able to cleanly, simply, plain, see what it is or they're not even gonna think twice to look at it. Make it, that's, the, I mean, the, the picture is, is I'm, I'm going off of the, the idea that somebody's scrolling through, like you like their picture, right? Somebody's scrolling through and they see your name. So the first thing they're gonna see is your name. Second thing they're gonna see is your profile picture or one of the two, however they see it, right? Those are the first two things they're gonna see. Does your name grab their attention? Does your profile picture look good and grab their attention? If so, yes, they click on your name, bam, we're at number three. Your bio and main page. So as far as bio and main page go, not too much, easy to navigate. So you don't wanna just add a bunch of different stuff into it. You don't wanna have 10 different areas. You don't wanna have 10 different things tagged. You know, you need to make it professional, but also exciting and fun at the same time. Your bio, once people click on your page, once people click on your bio, that's what's gonna sell them. That and the pictures, but we'll get into that. Your bio needs to brag about you. What have you done? Your accolades, the people that you work with, some of your other pages, tell them quickly, briefly about you. My, my bio right now on my Instagram page, if you're looking at it, follow along with me class. In the actual bio itself, that wide bow tie. People, people get mistaken because they think I'm the widest bow tie. No, that's not the case. I'm just that wide bow tie. I've got my girlfriend and the Tahoe together, that page on there. I work with McGoys and I have another page that I run. Bam, clean, simple, that tells you all you need to know, my biggest accolades about me and my brand that I'm building. And at the bottom has my YouTube. Your bio needs to navigate to the more important things. It needs to tell them about you and navigate to the important things about your page, which is one, either your website, if you're a business, you're, if you're a YouTuber, it's gonna be your YouTube channel. If you're a photographer, it's gonna be your website or your photography page, whatever it is. Navigate to the more more important things, promote yourself, promote your brand. It needs to promote you. Now, number four. I've only got five points in this video. I know I'm talking a lot, but number four, your pictures. Your pictures, this is the biggest thing that I see. The number, number four and number five are gonna be the most important things. Most of the time, one, two, and three are pretty simple. Number four and five are gonna be the most important things, and these are the best 
the two easiest ways to grow on Instagram is number four and five. Number four, your pictures. Obviously, pictures are what's gonna gain you more followers, more likes, more attraction, more engagement. You need to be posting consistently. Post, Gary Vee says post four or five times a day. I'm not gonna, I wouldn't, that, that depends on you. You, you sacrifice. The more you post, the less likes you get, but the more reach that you get. Every time you post, more people, different people are gonna see your content and we'll get into that. But number four, pictures. Consistency is key. Pictures are the selling point. That's what people are gonna see. If you're promoting your stuff by pay, paying ads or if somebody's sharing you on their page, that's what's, what people are gonna see first. Your pictures need to be clean. They need to be the whole truck. I would recommend the whole truck unless it's a good quality picture, then maybe just wheels or front end or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a whole truck. But the main thing is use good pictures. It needs to be you or only the products that you're promoting, unless unless it's a special occasion. I mean, unless you're shouting somebody or something like that. But you can find angles that work for your truck. I know the angles that work for my truck and that's why I post them that way. I literally, if you go on my Instagram, a lot of my pictures look the same. They're with the same angle. Why? Because I know those are the things that people like to see. How do I know that they like to see that? Because they like the picture. The more likes you get, the more somebody like the picture. Makes sense, right? Clean, post once a day. Clean pictures, post once a day. That's not hard. People think it's hard, it's not hard. It takes five minutes with an iPhone in portrait mode to go take a picture, write a caption, post, done. And if you do it at the same time every day, then maybe that's a little more difficult and you gotta plan that, but it's not hard. I do it four or five times a week. I could do it six times a day if I wanted to. Walk out, work, take a picture, done, post. But I don't wanna do that. If you wanna do that, that's great, do it. You're gonna gain a lot. That's number one. Number one, the biggest, probably the biggest thing people don't do is post once a day. Start posting more. That's what's gonna gain you content. Well, I don't have pictures to post. I don't have new stuff to post. If you guys realize, what have I actually done to my truck in the last year? Not much. I put some lug nuts and maybe some different lights and some wheel lights, but I haven't done wheels, lift, tires. I haven't done all that big stuff in over a year. You don't need to do mods to your truck to grow your Instagram page. I am living proof to that. The last six months, all I've done is take the same pictures of my truck and post it and promote it. That's all I've done. And look what we've done. That, that's literally, you don't need to do anything else to your truck right now, but start posting it. Number five. We're gonna jump into number five. Number five is goes hand in hand with number four. You need to post daily and you need to put hashtags and a great caption underneath those pictures. No song lyrics, no song lyrics. If you genuinely want to be successful, do not put song lyrics under your pictures. Don't do it. I hate, I, I, I have a lot of good friends that do it and I really, I just, I don't, why, why nothing about that is engaging to me. Nothing about that is exciting to me. I mean, it's a cool song lyric. It's Young Dolph and Moneybag Yo and all these cool people, but that tells me nothing about you. You're a blank Instagram page to me. Literally, all you're doing is posting pictures of your truck and putting song lyrics. That does not make me wanna follow you. That's why I only follow about 1,200 people and half those people do that same stuff. There's nothing about that that makes me want to follow you. No song lyrics. Engage with your audience. Tell them what's going on with your life, with your truck, with new mods, ask questions, take polls, everything, something that's gonna get somebody to respond, that's gonna get somebody to comment. Song lyrics is cool, but I can go listen to that song 100 times. And then if you post that under your picture, awesome. That's gonna make me wanna like, huh? Yeah, no, it doesn't. News about the truck, post day, or, well, engage with the audience, no song lyrics, ask questions, take polls, I mean, that's something that's gonna give, people wanna see more about you. A lot of these Instagram pages are literally, uh, there's no face behind it. There's no brand associated with it. I know not everybody wants to build a brand, but I don't wanna follow a page that literally just posts pictures of trucks. There's no engaging qualities to it. There's no, uh, literally, we don't even know what the guy looks like that drives it. It could be, I mean, literally, we, we have no idea what some of these people look like. I, I don't wanna follow pages like that. I wanna be able to engage and you know, relate to the pages that I follow. And that's what's going to help build your following. People that can relate to you, that, that have a genuine you know, like for you, a like to you. you know, they, they like your content, they like what you're doing. So, you need to post daily, you need to have an engaging caption, and the last part, which I kinda associated with number five, is your footer. Everything that I do underneath 
your your footer and if you guys haven't seen this before i don't i don't have all the fancy editing so you guys know right here you've got my caption underneath the picture i just posted and this is my footer so i kind of mark it off by putting all the little tags and stuff like that but then i put you know the the Tahoe page, the Just Bowtie page, all the pages I work with, a little thing, couple things about the truck, and then the hashtags. Those hashtags are very important. Put a bunch of hashtags under your post. Every time you post, so let, let me explain it to you this way. When you post daily, there's a certain amount of people that are, that are following you right now that are gonna see that picture. When you put those hashtags, there's another random amount of people that's gonna see your picture as well. So you're gonna get that same amount of people and the extra new people that are gonna see your page, right? The reason that you post daily and use hashtags. Every time you post, you're gonna get a new group of people and it's gonna be more and more every single time. The more you grow, the more people see it. It's different every time, bam, you're growing. Because you're posting every day, you're using engaging hashtags, you're using engaging comments and captions, bam. It literally, I couldn't break it down any simpler for you. Name, bio, sorry, name, profile picture, bio, pictures, caption, footer. It's not hard. If you sit down, if you rewatch this video and you genuinely sit down and go through these steps, fix your Instagram, fix how it looks, fix the layout, start posting every day, use engaging captions, put some hashtags under it, make it look all fancy and nice, you will gain on Instagram. Are you gonna gain 15,000 in a year? Maybe not. You might gain 20, 25, or you might only gain five in a year. It really, it, there's variables in there, but all I can do is give you every piece of advice, every key to success that I have, put it out there for you guys to use. That's why I do this. That's the content I wanna put out for you guys in 2020. Not posting Joe Blow's truck down the road. Don't get me wrong, I love trucks. I love all of that stuff and I'm gonna keep posting trucks. I've got some new mods on the way for the truck right now. We got two new sponsors on the channel. I'm working on number three. But I wanna give out content to you guys that's gonna help you that helps you wake up every day and want to be successful. That's what I wanna do. Follow these things and you will grow on Instagram and you will be successful. Follow these things, follow these steps in life and you will be successful. I told you I wasn't gonna make this video very long and I can tell I've already been talking for like 13 minutes. So I'm gonna end it right there. You guys know exactly what it is. Stay tuned, giveaway coming soon. If you guys are watching this, if you guys have watched this far me talk this long hit the like button hit the subscribe button you guys mean the world to me giveaway announcement coming soon on instagram stay tuned for that i love you guys so much let's get this bread get this bread is it gonna focus on me is it <laughs>